Hey guys, this is Dwayne with HowToBuildCreditTV.com and I am back again with another YouTube live stream. And so tonight I basically want to answer some questions uh, that you guys may have in regards to credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. So that's what we're going to talk about in this particular live stream tonight. So uh, joining the live stream, let me know from where you're watching and uh, we'll kind of get started here. So let me see. There we go. We got James showing up here. James, what's going on, bro? Thanks for joining the live stream, sir. Um, <clears throat> you know, just back on another Monday evening at 7 p.m. here where we do the live streams here on How to Build Credit TV. Um, there's going to be some stuff coming up here. I think I'm going to be uh, applying for some cards here in the future, even though I don't need any more cards. But I'm probably going to be applying for some because uh, that's that's how I get down. So um, we'll kind of talk about maybe a couple of the cards that I'm interested in getting that I'm going to get and that I'm going to be very strategic about uh, getting those particular cards. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me OK, if I need to turn up the mic or bring the mic closer. Let me know from where you're watching as well. If this is your first time to, to watch a live stream and you're watching this back on the replay, we normally do live streams on Monday at 7 p.m. and we talk about everything you need to know about credit credit cards and how to make money using credit cards. So if this is your first time, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, join us on the live stream and ask any questions that you have regarding credit and I'll do my best to answer the questions as as best as I can. So let me kind of see here who's, going, who's in the chat and uh, let me know, like I said, if you guys can hear me loud and clear. Uh, Frank, thanks for joining the live stream, sir. I appreciate you for watching. Anthony, what's going on, bro? Thanks for joining the live stream. Uh, we have Ivan here. Ivan says, hey, Dwayne, how's it going? Going well, man. Another awesome Monday. Um, this Monday, this weekend went by a lot faster than last weekend, that's for sure. But uh, it's all good. This is my birthday month. I'm uh, going to be 41 in this month. And there's going to be no live stream on Monday, June the 24th. That's my birthday. As much as I love you guys and I'd love to do a live stream, I'm probably not going to do a live stream on my birthday because uh, I want my birthday to kind of go how I want it to. And God forbid somebody get in here and do some negative comments and kind of ruin that for me. So there will be no live stream on uh, the 24th of June, which is a Monday, which is my birthday. Hey, what's going on, Dead Mouse? Thanks for joining the live stream, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, we have Jonathan Brock. Hey, Jonathan, thanks for watching the stream. Ozzy, what's going on? Miami in the house. Thanks for joining me uh, in the stream as well on Patreon. I appreciate that, sir. What's going on, a pimp? That boy says, Dwayne. Thanks for joining the stream. Brian, how you doing, sir? Thank you for stopping by. Donnie, how are you, sir? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we have Don. Don, thanks for, from Oklahoma. Okay, cool. Don, thanks for watching the live stream today, and thanks for coming back. I love seeing the faces that come back to the stream. Uh, you guys make this freaking awesome. Uh, the fact that you're here, you're kind of learning about your credit, you're supporting the channel, and you come on back for another episode, another exciting installment of HowToBuildCreditTV.com. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys for doing that. It's always kind of cool to see you guys. Ricky, what's going on, bro? Thanks for joining the live stream. Uh, okay, cool. Jonathan says loud and clear. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, we got the credit card maestro. Walter is in the house. Walter, thanks for joining the live stream. Hey, by the way, if you're watching this, if you're watching this back on the replay, uh, Walter has a YouTube channel and he talks about credit cards. He talks about points. He talks about cashback. He talks about travel. So if you're interested in that, please stop by his channel and support that young man. He's really awesome. And uh, I wish I was doing videos on YouTube when I was his age, but I'd be further along now. But uh, stop by his channel and be sure to subscribe to his channel. So thanks for joining, Walter. Hey, Miss Williams, thank you very much for joining me on Patreon and thanks for stopping by this live stream. It's nice to see a familiar face. Miss Lady Renee, how are you doing, ma'am? Good evening to you and all is well. Thanks for coming back to a live stream. I appreciate you, ma'am. We have Jorge, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining the stream, brother. Wow, man, I don't want to butcher your name, but hey, thanks for joining the live stream. Miss Edwards, thank you for joining the live stream. Hey, Janelle, what's going on? Thank you for joining. Sherry, how are you doing, man? Thank you for joining. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Cool. Um, Frank, thank you for joining the live stream. I have a business proposal. What's your email? 
Uh, Frank, you can reach me at Dwayne. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in here. Uh, there's so many emails. It's just ridiculous uh, that I have. We'll go with this one because this one's. Sh so we'll do that. Let me see. Okay, cool. So I put that in there, uh, Frank, so you can see that. Uh, let me kind of scroll back up here and see who else I need to say hello to. Um, Jeepers, I'm pretty far behind. Keith, what's going on, sir? Thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate you, sir. Hey, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. The Hitting the thumbs up helps the channel a lot, and it helps kind of get the video uh, as well as the channel in front of more people and so that way there'll be more exposure and we can have a bigger community and people can get the help that they want or need or anything like that in regards to credit so be sure to hit that thumbs up please what's going on Eli thanks for joining the live stream bro appreciate you oh snap Eddie okay today is your birthday happy birthday to you Eddie thank you for joining on your birthday man this is a uh, this is not not too bad uh, for for your birthday, right? You just get here and watch the stream, which is pretty dope. Um, I really thought I was like, am I really gonna do a video on my birthday? And I was like, uh, probably not. I'm definitely not going to work on my birthday. Don't want to be upset with anything pertaining to work. But happy birthday, Eddie, man! Thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate you. Uh, we have SC Travel Traveling Nurse or RN. Uh, thanks for joining the live stream. I appreciate you, ma'am. I'm assuming you're a ma'am. You may not be. How to get an 800 credit score. What's going on, Lyndon? Thanks for joining the stream, sir. I appreciate you a lot. Um, okay, hello. Do you speak on new business credit? Um, I actually, I don't talk about it a whole lot just because I'm not uh, insanely familiar with it, but I do have a business credit card with American Express, and I will admit that I did apply for a Chase business card over the weekend. Uh, they're still kind of reviewing um, the application I need to get some information to them uh, as well but I don't talk a whole lot about business credit but hopefully that's something that I'll rectify in the future so hopefully you can stick around and you know we can help each other and uh, you know I'll be able to give you uh, a better answer uh, in the future in regard to that I'm blurry Janelle like my my video is blurry which is weird I don't know why that would be the case but I don't think there's a whole lot I can do uh, from it. Uh, Jorge says, um, I jumped to seven, uh, 753 credit score like a uh, month. That Discover that Discover card helped a lot. Good stuff, man. Thanks for sharing that. That's freaking awesome, bro. And congratulations on that. Um, you know, I would just, a couple of months, I would kind of chill uh, before you do anything drastic uh, in regards to uh, your credit score. Let it sit there for a while and you know just kind of show them that it's not a fluke that your score is that high so congratulations on that and thank you for sharing what's going on d i appreciate you man uh thanks for joining the live stream tonight nice to see another familiar face here in the stream awesome <laughs> tanya says happy birthday young man she's talking to eddie so good stuff man that's good stuff carlos thanks for joining the stream i appreciate you sir all right <laughs> <laughs> Tanya says you two should celebrate. Well, he's got to wait. He's got to wait for a while on me, and, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't do anything too crazy for my birthday. All I really do is uh, I always go out to eat with my kids, and that's pretty much it. I don't really do anything fancy or crazy for that matter. Oh, cool. We got a thumbs down. All right, awesome. Thanks for stopping by and doing that. Whoever that is, uh, Robert Thomas. Thank you for joining the live stream, sir. Watching from Jersey. I appreciate you. Mommy and me from Orlando. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Fitzgerald, first time. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for taking the time to uh, watch the live stream. It means a lot. Uh, we got Christopher here from South Carolina. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you for watching, sir. Uh, D, uh, Dead Mouse is asking, uh, D. Anderson trying to get the TD Bank uh, credit card. Now going to wait a while. Okay, cool. Cool, good stuff. You guys are talking to each other. All good together. All right. Good stuff, man. Cedric, what's going on, sir? Thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you a lot. Camera's out of focus. Wow, really? That sucks. Um, it looks insanely clear on my end. Um, that's really weird. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it's something I can fix right now. I wish I could, but I don't think it is. Um, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. All right, let's see here. Keep scrolling, scrolling. Cedric, camera's out of focus. Uh, Eddie says, thank you. Oh, sweet. Okay. 
Um, Lyndon says, hey, Dwayne, just got my pedal card in the mail, $3,500 limit. First of all, congratulations on that card. Um, I got mine in the mail too, but the envelope is, it is horrible. Um, it's all folded up. My dad got it because I actually have the mail kind of sent uh, elsewhere. And so he got it and uh, it didn't have junior on it. So it was like, he thought it was his mail. So he opened it. Well, he didn't open it, but it may as well have been open. Um, that envelope that it comes in is real thin. It's a really thin envelope. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but uh, congratulations. Uh, Lending on that $3,500 credit limit with the pedal card. That's good stuff. I think you'll enjoy that card. Oh, wow. D, okay. Sorry to hear that, bro. 11 years since your mom passed. Um, wow. That's that's a tough one, man. That is a very tough one. Um, yeah, parents are important uh, for sure. So, um, you know, just keep, keep going, man. Keep going strong. Uh, it says, last week I got a credit limit increase on my U.S. bank. Uh, $10,000 Saturday Navy Federal now 21,500 Wow good stuff D congratulations man that is freaking awesome what's going on the coin alley thanks for jo joining the live stream sir I appreciate you coming back here uh, Paulette how are you thanks for joining again a lot okay okay that boy Cedric okay you finally changed your channel name from Skadoo 330 to Cedric good stuff I appreciate that makes it a lot easier because I, I even forgot that that was you, to be honest with you. We have uh, Aisha, thanks for watching the live stream. Hey, from Minneapolis, thank you for joining. I appreciate you for stopping by, ma'am. Uh, Bodyguard856, what's going on? Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we got Jonathan in here. Jonathan says, I got four secure credit cards to fix really damaged credit. Good or bad idea? I think it's a good idea. I mean, you already have it, right? So. Um, you know, there's there's really no need. A lot of people um, don't really think highly of secure credit cards. And in regards to secure credit cards, I think that a secure credit card is like one of the best ways to build your credit score. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I'm going to be getting a secure credit card pretty soon here. And my credit score is way over 750. Um, my FICO score. OK, I don't really need it but I would like the relationship with that particular bank so I'm actually going to be getting a secured card pretty soon I'll probably make a video about it as well and the limit is going to be five thousand dollars so I'm gonna have five thousand dollars just sitting in a bank account uh, earning me no interest and so to somebody else that may be very stupid but to me personally because I want the relationship with that particular bank uh, or credit union it's Navy Federal Credit Union I think it's important because I really want to see if I can get some credit cards with a lot higher credit limit and I know that Navy Federal is uh, notorious for doing that so I'll be opening a secure card with Navy Federal Credit Union so in regards to having four secure cards and if that's a bad idea Jonathan I think that's good bro I mean a year from now you're gonna be in a better situation with your credit score uh, than you are now so I wouldn't sweat that just make sure you you know you keep on top of it and uh, you know hopefully out of those four cards you have at least three um, or more you only have four but hopefully you have a couple of cards that will promote you to an unsecured card and it's with a good bank that you want to be with so um, and if that's the case I think that's really really good uh, cool Keith says a picture is clear for you okay good it's clear for me but I'm just watching it back here so it's kind of different but uh, thanks for that feedback Keith what's going on man thanks for joining the live stream glad I caught it live watching from Kentucky good thanks for joining me on patreon by the way I appreciate that you joined super early on Saturday morning I was I was like wow so thanks for joining I appreciate you uh, let's see here okay Alberto says I received an offer in the mail for for Tiva credit card yesterday it has an APR of 29.99 um, well if the credit card does not have an annual fee um, then the APR doesn't really matter if you're paying your bill in full anyway and I would really really encourage you to pay your credit card bills in full as a matter of fact only use a credit card when you have money in the bank treat your credit card like it's a debit card when I use my credit card um, I don't do it as much now because I don't for whatever reason but m most of the times well okay maybe I still sort of do it I use the card and then I write down how much money you know like is on that particular card so if I'm using my discover card every time I use it I put you know I, I have like the word discover on my notes and then I put like $40 gas you know and then next time I will have like my Amex gold 
I have that written down and then I'll put like if I make a purchase at a restaurant or a grocery store because I get four times points with the Amex Gold Card and I write it down under my Amex Gold Card. And of course, I'm kind of subtracting this from my bank balance. And then, you know, once a week or once every other week, I just go ahead and pay off the balance on those credit cards. So that's what I would advise everybody to do is just pay the card off in full. You really don't need to wait for the due date to pay the card because something might happen and that money, you know, maybe have to, you might have to use that money elsewhere. And that's kind of how you get yourself in a bind. So as far as the interest rate being 29.99, which is clearly high, um, I would just advise you to you know pay it off so it wouldn't even matter what the interest rate is. <laughs> a board George says, hey, that's too much, that's too much money. Uh, that APR rate, that's funny. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Uh, Gary, thanks for joining the live stream. It says, is it too late to join the Amex card monthly? No, sir, you can join at the $30 level. Um, speaking of joining Patreon, um, I actually have opened it up where I will be taking people that are interested in joining on Patreon for the $60 level and that will be getting access to a Chase Freedom card which has a credit limit of $9,500 and you can be an authorized user on that card for $60, that's six zero sixty dollars $60 a month. Um, that card does report the back date so, or it, it, it does back date so in other words you're gonna get credit for how old that card is. The card itself isn't very old. I think it's almost nine months or it's probably nine months now, but at least you'll get that. So if you're interested, uh, Gary, you can definitely go to the website. It's on the bottom of the screen, patreon.com forward slash how to build credit TV and go ahead and sign up for the $30 tier and I'll add you to the American Express Marriott Bonvoy card, which has a credit limit of $3,000. I'll add you to that card uh, once you join. Um, if you're interested, there's a lot of people on multiple cards. Of course, you can get on multiple cards. So that's my quick plug in regards to that. All right. So thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, Brock says, uh, Dwayne, is there a rule of thumb for how many accounts you could be an authorized user for? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, American Express allows me to have 99 authorized users on their credit cards. Credit cards. The charge cards are totally different. My Amex Gold card only allows me to have five authorized users. And then after the, um, no, I think it's five altogether. I was gonna say, maybe, I don't remember. I was gonna say maybe after the fifth you pay uh, for authorized users, but I don't remember. Not something that I'm really worried about. I don't have a lot of authorized users on my Amex Gold card. Um, and then the, like the Amex Platinum card, um, you can have uh, authorized users as well, but you have to actually pay for the Amex Platinum authorized users. And I don't remember what the amount is but you have to pay, it's like 75 or higher, to be honest with you, in regards to the authorized user. So um, uh, there is not, you can be an authorized user on as many cards as you can find people to allow you to be an authorized user and have good payment history. You don't wanna get on somebody's card that, you know, don't pay their bill or has a high utilization rate. So that's not gonna be very beneficial if you do that. But uh, hopefully I answered that question. All right. Let's see here. Okay, cool. Here we go. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of reading. Uh, we have Fitzgerald says, no problem. Appreciate you educating us. Hey, thanks for stopping by, man. It means a lot. Um, QBs, thanks for stopping by. I haven't seen you in here in a while. And uh, thanks for joining the live stream again. It's nice to see you here in the live stream. Okay, cool. So Jonathan says he has um, the four secured, four security secured cards between U.S. Bank, Discover, Capital One, and City. So Capital One is the only one that's supposedly not allowing people to uh, upgrade anymore or promote people anymore. Um, so I think those, all of those are solid banks to have a secured card with. And clearly you're going to be able to upgrade or be promoted from the U.S. Bank, the Discover card, as well as the City card. So I think that's pretty good. That's a really good a uh, bunch of secured cards to have. So just keep rocking it out, man. Uh, just rock it out. And like I said, in a year's time, your credit should be a lot different. And, you know, come back here and share with us in the in the stream and on the channel. Uh, Tyrone says, congrats, Dwayne. You are you a are new member. Okay, yeah, of uh, now a member of Navy Federal Credit Union. So really how I got this was um, I know somebody that served in the military and um, 
they allowed me to kind of, you know, use them as an opportunity or as a way to get an account with Navy Federal Credit Union. So just being totally transparent with you guys, um, because that's what I try to do on this channel as much as possible. So I got the account because I wanted to get a Navy Federal Credit Union credit card because I heard about the generous um, credit limits that they give. So that was like kind of the main reason. Of course, Navy Federal Credit Union provides a lot of great services. I mean, their interest rates pretty low um, on loans and stuff like that. And of course, the credit cards are, are decent as well. Navy Federal Credit Union in general, obviously, well, it's not obvious, but they, I think they are the biggest credit union as far as uh, military is concerned. Definitely one of the biggest credit unions in the U.S. period. So I wanted to get an account with them. So I got the account and then I... Funded the account was like five bucks to fund the savings account. The money wasn't already in the account yet. It hadn't cleared, but I was just super excited. I was like, I'm applying for this Navy Federal Credit Union credit card. And I went ahead and did that and I did not get the card. Uh, and then I learned something that was pretty interesting is that uh, Navy Federal Credit Union, I don't know if it's Navy Federal Credit Union or if it's just credit unions in general. So the Navy Federal Credit Union has their own um, scoring Right. So their FICO score, not the FICO score, but their credit score goes from zero to four hundred and fifty two. I think it is. No, it may be four hundred and fifty. So it's between zero and four fifty. I think it is. Um, and my score, according to them, was three sixty two, which clearly is not bad. But I did not get the card. So I was not approved. Of course, I have a lot of inquiries and I really should be chilling and not applying for any more cards. But your boy has issues. So apparently I've been applying for cards. So I was denied for that card and um, I'm going to be transferring some money into my Navy Federal Credit Union savings account and I will be opening the secured credit card from Navy Federal Credit Union and I'm going to have a uh, $5,000 credit limit because I'm going to just go ahead and max it at the $5,000, which is not a big deal. Uh, the only thing that sucks is my money's going to sit there for, you know, some months without getting any kind of interest, but that's okay. It's, 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 you know, it's all for the greater good. So that's me being transparent with you guys. All right, Cedric says, uh, Dwayne, just so you know, you're helping a lot of people out, including me. I came from a 535 to a 665, but still have more work to do. Thank you so much from Florida. Hey, thanks for taking the time to say that, man. I, dude, I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, I love the opportunity to have this platform and it's really cool and really validating that people are finding value with this channel. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just a, a vehicle. You know what I mean? I'm just here to kind of help as much as I can. And uh, it's working out really, really well for me. YouTube is a long game. YouTube is a marathon. So I plan on being here for a while. You know, I don't plan on stop making videos. Uh, the videos may, you know, if there's a time that I need to like relax, I may do less videos, but I'm not going to stop making videos. So I appreciate you saying that, Cedric. I appreciate you very, very much, kind sir. Speaking of appreciation, um, Miss Tanya Williams, thank you so much for that super chat, ma'am. The $19.99 super chat, I appreciate you a lot. Um, that is insane that you took the time and your money to um, show your appreciation for uh, what it is that we're doing here on this channel and what this community is all about. So I really, really, really uh, appreciate that super chat. Thank you so much, Tanya. That means a lot to me. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me on Patreon. So, wow, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me get back up here and see if I can see some more of uh, questions and stuff that I need to see if I can answer. Let me scroll back up here, guys. Jesus, I'm insanely behind on these comments, but that's okay. Let's try to get them answered here. All right, cool. So Carlos says, good idea, Dwayne. I think my next secured card will be with Navy Federal Credit Union as well. I'm hearing lots of good stuff about them. Absolutely, man. I think that's a good move. I think that's a good look. Uh, like I said, Navy Federal is notorious or known for giving really, really awesome credit limits. So I'm going to test it out myself. I was kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie that I didn't get the card, but I wasn't surprised that I didn't get it uh, just because of the simple fact that I have so many inquiries. Now, that's kind of funny that I said I applied for that card. I did apply for it, and then I did apply for a Chase business card. Uh, I think it was Saturday night. And the reason why I did that was because they're supposedly supposed to be a uh, workaround, the 524 rule, where if you... Um, apply for a Chase card if you have a Chase account and in your account it has offers that are just for you, just for you. 
And that business card was one of those offers. It was just for me. So I said, you know, what? let me test this out. So um, unfortunately, they need some more information from me and I need to get that back to them. Uh, it's going to be very frustrating if I give them the information that they're requesting and I'm denied for that uh, card. That's going to be like like mega stupid because I have to take my time to go and drive and go get what it is they, they need me to get for them. So I'll keep you guys posted though. Oh, okay. Uh, it says uh, I'm working on the player two mode. Uh, having my wife applying for credit card, especially Chase card, which I can't apply for due to 524. That is a great idea. Great idea. And dude, that's that's the way to go. I mean, that's how you can really maximize and stack your points and, you know, earn a lot of points or cash back depending on what you, you know, what you prefer. But I think the points are really good, especially if you have the opportunity to travel uh, in general. Like I'm not I'm not very flashy. I don't like travel a whole lot. I will. But um, I'm probably not like insanely adventurous. I wish I were. I wish I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to go to Thailand and I'm going to make videos and be a cool guy and buy a drone. I actually like a lot of the videos that people make in regards to travel and they have these awesome drone shots. And I'm just like, yo, this is awesome. Actually, there's a guy that I watch a lot. Um, I came across his channel because he did a, a credit card video on Capital One Venture Card, which I thought was very funny. The, the video was about the Capital One Venture Card, but it really ended up showing a lot about travel. And uh, his channel name is Hello, My Name is Tony. And I totally love that dude's channel. I mean, the brother's like insanely awesome. His editing is really good. He has a lot of different cameras that he's bought and spent time editing the videos. So if you want to check somebody out that does some traveling, once again, his channel name is Hello, My Name is Tony. And uh, great channel. No space. Just Hello, My Name is Tony. Check that out. And if you check it out, let me know what you think about his channel. All right. Cool. Deborah says, Hello, Dwayne. How's it going? It's going really well. My score is 742 as of today. I didn't know a thing about utilization until my good girlfriend told me about it. Good stuff. Okay. Well, awesome. Congratulations on that score. 742 is freaking awesome. So, Good stuff, and uh, thank God for your girlfriend. You know what I mean? Yeah, credit utilization is very important, and a lot of people just don't know, and, and myself included at, at one point, but here I am now. Um, okay, cool. So Brian's saying here, it's been about 10 years since my mom left. I made my mission to tell people to say what's needed. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I Since I'm going to be 41 this year, and... Thank God I've been in a position to continue to live enough life to have appreciation for my parents, uh, mainly my father. Our relationship wasn't like the best. It wasn't a bad relationship, but, you know, just typical growing up kid stuff and being super opinionated and having thoughts and, uh, you know, thoughts about what my dad was and how he was and how I didn't like it. So it's cool to kind of be uh, in a point in my life where I can, you know, from my own life experiences, understand a lot more. And I've certainly taken the opportunity to express to people that are here now living how much they mean to me, my dad included. Uh, and that's very, very big for me because his dad wasn't very vocal and or um, affectionate or, or, or nurturing or anything like that. It was just kind of, you know, basically he was there and then he wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like it, it, there wasn't a lot of uh, communication with his dad and my, my, my mom's. My dad's mom, my grandma, had 12 kids. She had more than 12 kids, but only 12 lived. And so uh, their situation was very, very rough and interesting. So my dad thought he's doing a great job because he's doing way better than his dad. So I certainly hear you in regards to that, Brian. I definitely take the opportunity to communicate to people how much they mean to me and how much uh, you know I value them. So I agree with that 100%. Sneaky25 says, I made it. I forgot what time it was. Hey, appreciate you stopping by, man. It means a lot to me. All right. A pimp says, uh, Credit One closed my account because I opened a dispute with my bank because they double charged my account in which they ended up refunding me close to $600. In other words, people, people stay far away. Absolutely from Credit One. Absolutely. First of all, thank you for sharing that. And you're very right. Credit One is definitely interesting. Uh, in that way, I'm sorry to hear about that, but you got your money back. So that is freaking awesome. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Michael, thanks for joining the stream. Michael says, so I just turned 18 and I got approved for a secured card uh, from Discover. How long will it take to see my score? Assuming that I pay 
uh, all the payments on time. Uh, it can take anywhere. It can take up to six months to, to get a FICO score. First of all, congratulations on getting a card and for taking the first step and being responsible. Uh, dude, I wish that I had credit cards that I opened from when I was 18. So hopefully you keep those cards open, keep them in good standing. And, you know, like in a couple of years, you're going to be like a 20 something year old with an 800 credit score, possibly. It's very easy to get 800 credit score, to be honest with you. All you got to do is make your payments on time, be 100% on your payments, and then keep your utilization really, really low between like 0% and maybe 2%. And uh, those two things alone, you're like almost there. So congratulations. And uh, that's super awesome, man. Thanks for stopping by the channel and, uh, you know, asking that question. Um, that's freaking awesome. Hopefully my kids will be like that when they're 18. Ryan says, what's a good... Uh, what's good, my brother? When is the best time to ask Capital One for a living increase? Been eight months as of now. Um, if if it's a card that gave you a, a credit limit increase after six months, then I wouldn't necessarily ask them now. You know what I mean? If you have one of those cards where they automatically increased your credit limit after six months, I would wait for a year. Be sure to be using that card as much as possible. Um, if the card has a limit of $1,000, I would just continue to use that card, use it and pay it off maybe once a week. And if you can use more than $1,000, not more than your limit, but more than $1,000 across the whole month, of course, you're paying it off once a week, right? Then your argument could be that, hey, you know, you need a, a, a more, uh, you need more credit because, or more limit because you're spending more than your available credit limit. And it, it's just kind of inconvenient for you to have to worry about, you know, paying it off every single time so that you can make sure that you, you have enough to access. So that's kind of my uh, my two cents on that. I would definitely wait for at least a year before considering that. And then another thing to think about when you ask for a credit limit increase, you got to make sure that you know if it's going to be a hard inquiry or not. And I think with Capital One, it will be a hard inquiry. So if it's going to be a hard inquiry, it may not be worth it to request the credit limit increase with them. It may be to your benefit to just wait and they'll increase the limit um, on their own if you keep using the card a lot. Um, I, I'm almost scared to tell you that, like, you know, if you use your card and kind of let a balance, let balance sit on your card, maybe more than half of whatever the limit is, um, or just a little over half of what the limit is, that they may give you a credit limit increase faster. But I don't want to tell you that because I don't really believe in paying interest. So my advice is just to use the card a lot. Wait for them to give you a credit limit increase. If it's a hard inquiry, you may as well apply for a brand new credit card instead of getting a credit limit increase. That's kind of my thoughts on that because you can apply for a brand new credit card with somebody else, maybe, if you're pre-approved and then you can get even a higher limit than what you currently have with Capital One. So I would just rock out with that card for about a year, um, you know, maybe a year and six months. And then, you know, depending on what your score looks like, then you may consider applying for another card. Hopefully that helped, Ryan. Thanks for that question. Hey, Teresa, thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. Francisco, thanks for stopping by. What's going on, bro? I'm good. Thanks for stopping by. Life Path 6. Good evening, Dwayne. Thank you for stopping by, ma'am. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming back to another stream. I appreciate that a lot. Um, Mommy and me says, how can I get your FICO score? How can you get your FICO score up? Um, the best thing to do in regards to getting your FICO score up is... Number one, you need to have some kind of tool where you can look at the different things that's affecting your credit score. So the tool that I like to use that's okay-ish is Credit Karma. Credit Karma has an app. I like using the app a lot because it's just really simple and straightforward. There are six different categories on Credit Karma um, that tells you how your score is kind of comprised. So according to Credit Karma, one of the first things you'll see on the app is your inquiries. Okay, And then after that, you will see... Um, you will see your average age of credit. Okay, your average age of credit is going to be 15% of your score. And then after that, you will see um, on the left hand side, um, I don't remember. Let's say, um, let's say derogatory marks. It's probably not there on the left side, but let's say derogatory marks. Derogatory marks affect your credit a lot. And then on the right hand side, you'll see credit card utilization, which is 30% of your score. That's important. Make sure you keep your utilization between 0 and 2%. That would be nice. Zero and 10% is okay as well. But if you want to maximize your score, zero and 2% would be really, really good. Um, and then after that, you will see, let's see, what is it? Uh, payment history. Payment history is very, very important. 
Okay, so uh, those things basically download Credit Karma and kind of get yourself familiarized with that and come back to the channel, come back to the live streams and continue to ask questions and continue to watch and listen and you know, you probably get some information as to how to increase your FICO score. So thanks for asking that question and thanks for watching the stream. What's going on? Check please. Thanks for joining the live stream, brother. Thanks for coming back again. Spence, thank you for joining, sir. Appreciate you a lot. Uh, CEO Productions, thanks for watching the live stream. Uh, just bought my car yesterday, financed through Navy Fed. I'm so happy and I love them. They also approved me for a credit card. Congratulations on the car and congratulations on the credit card. Thanks for taking the time to come by and stop and actually say that and make, make a comment. Uh, a lot of times people watch the video, um, but they may not want to make comments. So thank you for taking the time to put yourself out there. And congratulations on that car and congratulations on that credit card, man. Like I said, I think Navy Federal is pretty freaking dope. So good stuff, CEO Productions. Uh, Edwin says, I got my first Capital One uh, card. What is your advice for me? Um, do just use the card as a, a debit card. Use it, pay it off. If you use it a lot because you have a low limit, uh, definitely pay it off uh, once a week. Definitely you know, pay it off once every other week, depending on what you want to do. Just use the card a lot and pay it off as much as possible. But I don't mean as much as possible. I mean, if, if once a week is good for you, do that. If once every other week is good for you, do that. But whatever you do, pay the bill on time. And if it's possible, find out when your closing date is. Um, your closing date is different from your due date, okay? So if you know the closing date, you can call them up and say, hey, what's my closing date? If the closing date is on the 13th, then you wanna make sure that your utilization or your balance on the card is between 0% and 10%. Okay, so you want to make sure the balance is between zero percent, zero percent, and ten percent on, let's say, the eleventh, because your closing date is the thirteenth. Okay, and so when they report to the credit bureaus, they're going to report what it is your balance is at that moment. So that's kind of what's important. And uh, download the, download the Credit Karma app. You know what I mean? So you can kind of have a tool to kind of look and see what's going on there. Um, that's kind of my two cents on that. And of course, come back and let me know what's, what's going on and ask more questions. Hey, Keith, thank you so much for the $10 Super Chat, bro. I appreciate you a lot. You are a repeat offender. You keep showing up to the live streams and you keep uh, supporting the channel and giving Super Chats. And I really, really appreciate that, Keith. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot for doing that. Um, okay, the Coin Alley says, does Navy Forever allow you to join uh, if you make a donation to military affiliated organization much like PenFed, no, I don't think so. Um, you definitely have to know someone that's in the military, and I um, mean, like if if like if the person's a brother or even a stepbrother um, or a spouse, you can you can join. The website is really really clear about providing you information as to what or what the requirements are in order for you to join Navy Federal Credit Union. So um, just go to the website and check it out. I mean, they're really uh, straightforward. That's funny, that boy Keith says, Dwayne, go into the garden. Dude, I was supposed to have been in the garden like since since basically the end of last year, but we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it, man. Good advice, though. Good advice, for sure. Uh, Rick says, good. Navy Federal Credit Union is very good. Yes, they are big. You will really, you will really get... I'm not sure what's supposed to happen there, but uh, that's cool. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and go down here and kind of, oh, hey, what's going on, man? Point to Point Transportation LLC. Thanks for joining the live stream, sir. Nice to see you again. Taz. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Taz. Thanks for joining the live stream. I don't think I've seen your name before, so thank you for stopping by. It means a lot. Uh, Dead Mouse says, it's a privilege to have credit. Thank God. This is very true. And we definitely got to take care of our credit, especially when it comes to, you know, owning a home. If you want to get a home or a car or even a personal loan or you know anything that requires you to secure or have good credit so credit is definitely important frank says wait what capital one isn't graduating secure cards yeah i'm sure somebody already answered that in the live stream or in in the in the chats but yeah they're not it's actually really stupid to be honest with you i'm not sure why they did that um but that's weird <laughs> that's funny uh, just I was just reading the coin coin alley's uh, remark there. Uh, Tyrone says, Dwayne, are you going to join PenFed and get a credit card with them also? Probably not. Um, I really need to just be chilling out to tell you the truth. Um, 
It's actually kind of weird though because the only reason why I want to chill um, other than getting, you know, having less inquiries is because I want to get some Chase credit cards uh, because I need to find out what this Chase thing is all about. I have a Chase Freedom card uh, and, I, and I have like 8,000 uh, points on there right now, which is which is nothing. But I want to get a, a Chase card and do it right, get a nice sign up bonus and of course kind of redeem the points and kind of see, you know, what's going on with these points because people... Uh, value the ultimate reward points at the highest you know like basically the highest between uh, the different credit cards so I'm interested in getting a card for that reason but as you can see I'm not insanely interested because I'm still applying for cards here uh, to be honest okay see here okay Jabril says, you build credit buying new furniture, question mark. Um, I guess you could, I mean, because I guess if you finance, do financing with the furniture store or get a credit card or whatever through that store, uh, paying your bills on time, paying your payment on time will uh, benefit your credit, absolutely. So I think, I think that's very possible. I mean, those guys do have credit cards that you get because of course they want you to, you know, finance with them and they're, they want to charge you interest and make money and all that good stuff. So I would say yes would be the answer to that. Okay, point-to-point uh, -point transportation says he applied for the Penn Fed and also Navy Fed and they denied him uh, probably because of the too many inquiries. Yeah, the too many inquiries will kill you, bro. Uh, I'm learning that the hard way, but I already knew that. Um, I, I promise I'm going to chill at some point. Uh, T Wash, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining the live stream. I'm loving your uh, profile pic here. That is freaking awesome. Says uh, I'm about to join Navy Federal this week. All right, cool. Keep me posted, man. Let me know what's going on with that. All right, Paulette says Credit Karma keeps saying that I'm eligible for Chase Sapphire Preferred, so I went to see if I pre-qualified. It said I wasn't. Um, definitely don't want to apply for that card if you're not pre-qualified and if your score is less than 680 I wouldn't even waste my time applying for it um, it just kind of depends if you don't have a lot of inquiries and by a lot of inquiries I mean if you have like three or less uh, two or less would be good but if you have three inquiries you could you could try it if you really really wanted to um, but Otherwise, you can just wait a couple of months, you know, give it six months and kind of see what your score does, especially if you can, you know, maximize or tweak certain things in your score, then go back and circle back and kind of see if you're pre-approved um, and then apply for that card. Okay, the credit card maestro says, uh, trying to work on my drone ideas as we speak. Yeah, man, those drone videos are really dope. Like, as a matter of fact, like I was in Best Buy a couple of weeks ago with my kids and I was like, you guys want anything? And they were like, no, which is kind of weird. Like, they really didn't want anything. I kept trying to get them to want something, but they didn't. But um, I saw the drone and I've been, I've been kind of into drones for a while, but I'm too scared to pull the trigger. You know, um, there's a lot of things that I could buy for $1,500 or $1,000 or $800. I mean, there's a lot of drones that you can get at different prices. Um, so I'm kind of scared to to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think the drones are really, really freaking awesome, to be honest with you, Walter. Uh, let me see if I can scroll down here. Goodness. All right. Wow, what's going on here? No, I know I didn't see this right. Wow, Lyndon, really, bro, you gave me a hundred dollar super chat. Wow, thank you, sir. I truly appreciate you. I mean, you guys are already on Patreon. You're already supporting me and the channel that way. But to take your your hard earned money and to donate to this channel and to pour into this community is, dude, I'm freaking speechless. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Lyndon says, um, I'm giving a huge shout out. I'm giving you a huge shout out in my Wednesday live stream, bro. Man, dude, I appreciate that. That is crazy. Lyndon, you're out here making history, man. I've never gotten a hundred dollar super chat before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's ridiculous. And I really appreciate you. If you need anything, man, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Call me, text me, give me a shout. You know what I mean? I got you. I uh, appreciate that. 
All right, let me scroll back up here and see if I can kind of catch up to where I was just a while ago. Golly, I'm insanely behind, but that's okay. Thank you guys for stopping by the live stream, man. Um, in the future, I kind of want to possibly do some more talking in the live stream about possibly what kind of credit cards you guys are interested in getting and kind of talk about why you're interested in getting those credit cards. Um, right now, I am interested in um, applying for a American Express card. Of course, I'm going to apply for American Express card because I'm pretty sure I'll get approved for the card. Um, I did apply for a card back in March, I want to say. Um, I tried to apply for the uh, American Express Delta uh, Gold card. No, the Platinum card. Speaking of applying for the card, Walter, dude, that referral has your, your name written all over it. I told you that the next time I applied for an American Express card that I would use your referral link. So Walter from the credit card maestro, dude, I'm going to use your referral link for that American Express application no matter what. Okay, I got you. I will let you know when I use the link just so you can kind of know and kind of keep out, you know, an eye for that referral bonus. So Walter, that has your name written all over it. So I want to get that particular card. The um, I'm thinking about getting the Platinum or the American Express uh, Delta Sky Miles, the gold card. Uh, the sign-up bonuses right now are really, really awesome. Uh, the sign-up bonus, I think, for the Delta uh, Gold card is 60000 and the sign-up bonus for the Platinum card is 70000 Of course, you can, you can probably find a little higher of a sign-up bonus elsewhere, but like I said, Walter, that sign-up bonus, that referral link is, is all you, bro. You're going to get, get the points for that one for sure. So um, I will keep you posted on that uh, as time gets closer. Okay, cool. Let me see if I can jump back in here. Uh, Lyndon distracted me with that $100 super chat. That is crazy, bro. All right. Okay, so Julio says, Hey, Dwayne, just received my American Express Blue Business Plus card, but had to close my Optima card due to reaching five card cap. Okay, interesting. Yikes. Okay, well, first of all, congratulations on your, uh, blue, your blue Business uh, American Express card. I think that card is pretty... Pretty freaking awesome, actually, because you're allowed to get 2%. You're allowed to earn 2% um, or not 2%, two percent, two times points. I say 2%. It's still the same thing. You're allowed, You're going to earn two times points on all your purchases, all your purchases up to $50,000. Uh, that's freaking awesome because if you spent $50,000, that would be 100,000 points. And that's a lot of points. So congratulations to you and thank you for sharing that. That is really awesome. I think you're going to like that card. I have that card. And I think you're going to like that card uh, as well. CEO Production says, my score according to PenFed was 717 and you still got denied. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Um, that's what I'm learning is that like, you know, like your score is important, your credit score is important, but depending on what's going on with your credit report, your credit profile, your credit score is not the entire picture. I mean, it's a big part of it, um, but at the same time, if you have a lot of inquiries like your boy, like me, um, and if you have like high balances on other things, they may not approve you. Hey, by the way, there are 92 people watching the live stream. Thank you so much for stopping by and doing that. Go ahead and do me a huge fi favor, finger, <laughs> huge favor, and hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel a lot and it helps get this information out to more people so that we can have more people in the stream. I appreciate you guys for stopping by the live stream. That is freaking awesome. All right, let me see here. Let's keep on going. Um, also, another quick plug, because I don't know who heard this in the beginning, but I do have access to a Chase card that has a credit limit of $9,500. So if you join me on Patreon at the $60 level, the $60 tier, I will add you as an authorized user on that Chase card and you'll have $95,000. $95, $9,500 reported on your credit profile and uh, that'll help build your, 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 that'll help lower your overall credit utilization. So that can help you a lot if you guys are interested in doing that. All right, cool. Thanks for smashing that thumbs up. That helps guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. All right, let's see here. Um, sorry guys, I'm, I'm just reading. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Adding, adding, adding as an authorized user should not be an inquiry. It will be a new account. Okay. 
um, because it, it just will. It will be a new account. So it can go on there as a new account, but it should not go on there. And it doesn't, as far as I know, as an actual heart inquiry. Okay, it's just going to be a new account that's created. So, of course, that can affect your score a little bit as well uh, because it can affect your average age of credit, especially with American Express because American Express does not backdate. American Express, when someone is added as an authorized user, that relationship with American Express starts on the day you were added as an authorized user. As opposed to like Discover Card and Chase, um, you know, like if my if I had a card that was five years old and I added you to that card, you're going to get five years of credit history and payment history of on time history. And that will be factored in to your average age of credit, which could clearly help you if your average age of credit was like six months or one year or something like that. So uh, there's that. Oh, Carlos giving out some more advice here. He says, stay away from sub subprime bank cards like Credit One, First Premier. And uh, exactly. I agree with you, sir. All right, Damon says, uh, hello, I'm three months in, three months on my Discover card. Thanks to your videos. I just qualified for the Navy Fed account. Now I have a girl. I have my girl working on her credit. Good stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and saying that. And, uh, you know, actually saying that uh, the videos helped. I mean, that's freaking awesome. Um, I'm glad that you guys are finding value and I'm glad that, you know, you guys are watching and like I said, stopping by the channel and here you are in the live stream with me on another Monday at 7 p.m., which is when we do our live streams normally. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, Rick says, I've waited two years for my Capital One card to report. I called several times and they just say that they're working on it crazy capital one yeah that is dude two years that is ridiculous that's that's different um that, that would be a huge problem if these guys didn't report uh the renaissance says uh glad to be in au two of, two of your cards hey thanks for stopping by man uh i don't remember seeing you in the live stream but i know you joined me on patreon so i appreciate you stopping by the live stream and uh yeah you are on a couple of my cards man hopefully that'll help your score quite a bit uh, I know there are a lot of people. I have several people on like four cards, five cards, three cards. So um, that should help, especially if you're in a position to get on those cards and lower your overall utilization for sure. Uh, Eddie says something's wrong if they're not reporting. It took me one month for them to start reporting Capital One. This is OK. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing that, Eddie. Um. Quicksilver, I'm debating on whether or not to close it. I still owe $43 on it. We'll be paying it the next month. Uh, yes, probably we'll close that card. Dude, there's no reason to close that card, especially since the Quicksilver card has no annual fee. Uh, as far as I know, right? There's no reason to close that card. There's no reason to close any cards, especially if they don't have an annual fee. Like, absolutely no reason. So, I wouldn't close that card if I were you or any other card for that matter that does not have an annual fee. Uh, that's my two cents on that, okay? Um, I personally would not close that card. Um, let's see here. Hopefully that didn't screw anything up. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm like, uh, I just went back over to a different page. And um, hopefully the video is still okay. There's a lot going on here on my desktop. My computer is like making a lot of noise. It's like super loud right now. But hopefully you guys can't hear that. Uh, cool. Paul says, great information. Love your videos. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate you for saying that and stopping by the live stream as well. Uh, Michael, man, I appreciate you. Michael says, awesome. I meant to say I wouldn't have gotten the Discover card if it wasn't for your help. Listen, dude, I think you're going to like that card a lot. Oh, another thing, Michael, I forgot to faster using the 5% cashback categories than you would if you had the 2% on gas and restaurant and 1% on everything else. So call them and tell them you want to switch to the 5% cashback category and then be sure to log into your app and activate that category every single quarter and you're going to accumulate more cashback quicker and also they're going to match all the cashback but you already know that because you checked out the videos but you definitely want to do that Michael. That would be really, really cool. Uh, a pimp says, since Discover, since Discover, since Capital One doesn't upgrade anymore, what secure credit card would you suggest that gives upgrades? Um, basically, I would suggest any ban, any ban, any secure cards that do. So, like uh, U.S. Bank is a decent one. Uh, Bank of America is decent. Of course, I'm going to say Discover. I love them. I'm going to say Citibank because Citibank is also good. Uh, my top two would probably be Discover and Citibank. 
Uh, but US Bank is okay and so is Bank of America and TD Bank has a good secure card if you live in an area that has a uh, uh, TD Bank that would be a good secure card to get the secure card actually has a pretty awesome uh, Cashback system so that would be a good one to get and I think you're able to upgrade to uh, An unsecured card. So that's my two cents on that All right credit credit cycle says what capital one doesn't upgrade anymore I'm sure somebody already answered that but the the capital one secured card doesn't upgrade anymore uh, hey, Suze, thanks for joining the stream, bro. I appreciate you a lot. You said, uh, would you consider your five favorite... Okay, let's read that again. What would you consider your favorite five card foundation for cashback? Um, cashback, that's a good one. Uh, the first one right off the bat will be the Discover It card, especially for the first year. If you really want to maximize getting cashback, I would recommend to any and everybody, get the Discover card and only use that card. Don't, don't get other cards. Get the Discover card and put all of your purchases on that card and try to find ways to maximize the 5% cashback credit category. Because believe it or not, you're going to accumulate a lot of cash back in your first year of membership. And the cool part is that Discover actually matches your cash back. I mean, that is the best deal that there is as far as cash back cards are concerned. Um, so that would be the first card. The second card that a lot of people don't talk about that is very valuable is the US Bank Cash Plus uh, signature card. The US Bank Cash Plus signature card is a great card. That is the next cashback card that I re uh, recommend and you're able to earn 5% cash back on two categories you select and 2% on one category, once again, that you select. So that particular card you can rack up a lot of cash back quickly. Um, I use that card for utilities and my cell phone bill. So you can get 5% cash back when you pay your cable bill, your uh, your internet, your telephone, your light bill, uh, and then of course I use it on cell phones as well. So there, there are a lot of categories from which to choose, but those are the categories that I use and I get 5% back on that and it accumulates pretty quickly. Uh, if you know people where you can actually you know use your credit card to pay their stuff for them and they send you the money back that's also another way to accumulate cash back pretty quickly so uh, those two cards for sure then I would go with the Chase Freedom card the Chase Freedom card is a 5% card as well um, the Chase Freedom Unlimited now has the ability to earn 3% um, I think for the first year or something like that I think it's up to a certain amount of money but you can earn 3% uh, I would then go with the City Double Cash card that's 2%. You get 1% when you make your purchases and another 1% when you pay it. So those cards are good. Um, I would even go with the TD Bank uh, credit card. The TD Bank card actually has some good uh, cash back uh, opportunities for you to earn uh, a lot of cash back on certain, on certain things where you can get like 4%, 3%, 2%. Um, on certain things. The Bank of America Cash Rewards card is not a bad card either. They That card allows you to get 3%, 2%, and 1%. So um, I know that was more than five cards, but those are some of the cards that I would go with as far as cash back is concerned. And you could rack up a lot. But my first my first card is the Discover, the Discover card. The Discover It card, get that card and use it for the first year. Do not use any other cards. Like there's just no need to split your money or your cash back across different cards, um, you know, because Discover does match all the cash back that you earn. So that's my two cents on that. Hey, Suze, thanks for joining the live stream, my brother, and asking that question. Uh, Rick says, my chat did not work very well. Sorry. Um, what chat are you talking about? Are you talking about like a super chat or I'm not sure? Uh, Gregory, thanks for joining the live stream. I appreciate you, sir. Yeah, T. Wash says, "Yeah, I'm upset they're not graduating anymore." Yeah, Capital One, that's a trip. That just doesn't make doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Bodyguard eight five six says, "Just got my Capital One secure card." Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's all right. Just keep it for a year. You know what I mean? Rock with it for a year. Uh, ben, thanks for joining the live stream. Ben says, would a 700 credit score allow me to qualify for a brand new truck, assuming I have the income to go along with it? Love your channel. By the way, thanks for everything. Um, dude, absolutely. I think a 700 credit score would allow you to qualify for 
um, getting a loan uh, with you know a car dealership or whatever in order to get a truck um, one thing to be careful about is that you don't want the car dealers or whatever those guys pulling your a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different inquiries like they'll say oh we'll work with you and they'll try five different banks you know what I mean uh, to come up with the best bank you definitely want to make sure that they're not pulling a whole bunch of different banks as a matter of fact you may want to ask them what banks do they work with as far as uh, the car loans are concerned like for me I got my car loan with Capital One and it helped a lot because Capital One you know they took a chance on me but I already had a relationship with them so that would be something to kind of you know ask and if you kind of know you know what the bank is uh, or what the banks what the banks are or the, the different banks then you might be able to tell them you only want to choose you know getting your credit pulled for this particular bank instead of letting them just have a free-for-all you know I've had people that said that they got their credit pull like eight times when trying to buy a car which is ridiculous so you don't you definitely don't want to be in that boat Tom thanks for joining the live stream I appreciate you a lot Tom says thanks for the AU's absolutely absolutely alright scrolling down here sorry guys I'm just trying to catch up a little bit as we are uh, an hour into the live stream thank you so much there's 92 people in here thanks for watching you guys I appreciate you a lot if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe on the channel we talk about credit credit cards and how to make money using the credit cards and I say how to make money is how to make money how to get points that you can earn and, and kind of redeem towards travel if that's what you want to do as well as hotels I definitely have cards that allow me to earn points that I can use for a airline ticket and of course points that I can use to redeem for uh, a hotel so that's kind of what we talk about on this channel and in this community so definitely stop by and you know ask any questions that you guys may have about any of those things let me see here Um, Janae says, have you ever had a car total? If so, does it show on your credit? Uh, that's a crazy question. Um, no, I haven't had a car total and I don't know why it would show on your credit. Um, unless like you owed the bank or you owed on the car and you know, like somehow ended up being upside down. I hope that's not the case. Uh, hopefully somebody answered that question in the, in the chat. Uh, what's going on, Jason? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, sir. We got R. Warwick in the house. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, appreciate you, sir. Oh, Nika Baby. Hey, thanks for joining the live stream. Thanks for stopping by. I, uh, once again, like to see the familiar faces. So thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, ma'am, a lot. Okay, cool. So Eddie's saying, uh, you know, be sure to keep a good relationship with them and pay the bill in full. Absolutely. All right, let's see here. Ah, <laughs> Life Path Six says, "Good night, Dwayne. Getting old. I go to sleep early. Thank you for everything you do for all of us. Good night. Uh, hopefully, I didn't respond to you insanely late. But hey, thanks for stopping by the live stream. I really appreciate that. Makes me smile when I see familiar faces. So thank you for taking the time to stop by. Okay, Eddie's saying, "Man, you got good cars. They will graduate." Uh, with time, I wish I had those cards. All right, good stuff. So Eddie's basically responding to someone that said they had, I think it was four secured cards, and basically all of them were good, um, except Capital One, I think you were saying. So that's good for sure. Uh, Raymond, thanks for joining the live stream. Raymond says, hey, bud, I got my Discover, Discover secured card, credit line 200. I want to maximize the cash back, but limited to my credit line, credit limit. Um, that's kind of the problem that I faced personally. Um, is that like I wanted to maximize the opportunity to be able to spend as much as I wanted to on that card So I think when I got the card initially, I think I deposited $1,300 and then I did another $1,200 to max it out at $2,500 What I will say is if you maximize that card um, That you are more than likely not going to get a credit limit increase when they promote your card to the unsecured card um Speaking of something very very disturbing that I learned about the Navy Federal Credit Union secured credit card is that you once you join you probably should not increase your credit limit over time because they said every time that you increase your credit limit it's a hard inquiry which is totally stupid 
But uh, I just thought about that because I did speak with them over the weekend, I think it was, or maybe last weekend, and they told me that, and I was like, that's dumb. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's kind of my two cents on that. So Raymond, if you want to you know, put more on that card with Discover, the secured card, then go ahead and do that to give yourself some more cushion in regards to your spending, and so you won't max out at 200 bucks, which you know, there's not a lot of things that you can buy um, where you'd be in a situation where, you know, if it's over 200 bucks, clearly you can't buy it, right? Because your limit's only 200. So I don't think that's a bad idea, uh, Raymond. Hey, Dan, thanks for stopping by the channel. I don't think I've seen your name uh, before here, so I'm not sure, but I want to say, I want to greet you. Thanks for stopping by. My credit score is 670. Do I got good credit? Uh, your credit score is definitely not bad, um, and certainly, you know, I think you're in a category where you'll be able to, you know, like get approved for like, you know, like mortgage loans and stuff like that. Um, but I would encourage you to kind of, you know, make sure you have the Credit Karma app and kind of get in there and see what uh, you can improve or tweak. If credit utilization is something, that's an easy fix. You know what I mean? If you get in there and you see your credit utilization is like 40 percent then I encourage you to, you know, get that utilization all the way down to like 10 or less percent and your score should go up as well. If you have derogatory marks on your credit report, that's clearly going to be affecting your score. We won't know how bad until those derogatory marks fall off of your credit report, but you just want to make sure you go in there and see that, you know, if there's something that you can do to tweak it or make your score better, you then you want to do that. Uh, if it's just a waiting game, then you just have to be patient and wait, but 670 is definitely not a bad score. Just be patient and keep keep working at it. Okay, I'm smiling because Nika Baby was like, "Damn, you can still damn near get uh, uh, get any card you want." Uh, Rick says, "Wow, Dwayne, that's a good price. How do I do that? That how do you?" do it that cheap sixty dollars that's so exciting um here's the thing rick um in regards to the prices that i do for patreon um uh, patreon just kind of fell into my lap i created pre patreon initially because way way back before i had let's say before i had maybe 1500 subscribers not even 1500 probably less somebody was like you need to create a patreon page because i'd like to support you and your family and i was like okay that's kind of cool um, so I never did it then because I just, it was a lot of work and I didn't know what to do. So I created the Patreon page and, um, one of my subscribers talked about being an authorized user on one of my cards and they would pay for it. So I was like, well, I have the Patreon page set up and I have a $30 tier. And I thought the $30 tier was a good tier, like pretty much any price that's, you know, under a hundred dollars. A month is a decent price for an authorized user because people are paying anywhere from five hundred to twenty five hundred dollars to be an authorized user or for trade line or whatever you want to call it, and that's only a month. So my thing was I want to make it easy and manageable for people. I mean, thirty bucks a month is clearly cheap. You know, what I mean, like that's that's a couple of meals out. You know, if you eat out twice a week, you easily spend 30 bucks. If you eat out once a week, depending on where you eat out, you can easily spend 30 bucks. And so with the 60 bucks, it's the same kind of concept. Like, I mean, there's no need to charge, you know, an outrageous amount because my thing is let's welcome everybody. Let's be inclusive instead of exclusive. You know what I mean? So I, I want to appeal to the masses because you guys are the ones that are going to be doing it and it's going to be something that's going to be manageable and you can kind of do it for a longer time. So instead of paying $2,500 for a month or a couple of months, that same $2,500, you can use that and stretch that a longer time if you're paying 60 bucks or 30 bucks. So that was kind of my thinking on that, Rick. So thanks for taking the time to say that. I appreciate that, man. I think 60 bucks is a good deal as well. Uh, Dan says, I got two credit cards. I want to get a new card. What card should I get? Depending on what you want, Dan, depending on if you want to get a card that's uh, more towards travel, earning points that you can redeem towards travel or cash back, that's the first place that you should start. And then another thing to consider is you definitely want to see if you're pre-qualified for any cards you're going to get. So like if you're going to get an American Express card, go to their site, see if you're pre-qualified. 
be sure to use somebody referral link. Mine would be good, but be sure to use somebody's referral link because you get a better sign up bonus. If you want a Discover card, same thing. Go to the site, see if you're pre-qualified. Basically, see if you're pre-qualified for any card before applying for it. Because if you're not pre-qualified, um, you know, of course, you could not. Excuse me. Of course, you could not get that card. I mean, if you're not pre-qualified, I wouldn't say go for it. You know what I mean? But if you are, then absolutely you would go for it. Um, okay, Credit Cycle says, what is the age on the Chase card? Does it backdate? The age on that particular card with the $9,500 is eight, nine months, and it does backdate. So, of course, it's not insanely old, but the $9,500, especially if you have a credit utilization that's like 30%, or higher, $9,500 of more available credit would help your credit score quite a bit. So that's the answer to those two questions, sir. Hey, I don't know if this is for me, Christopher, but I'll take it. You said you are a blessing in my life. I appreciate you and you're a blessing in my life. Thanks for stopping by the channel and taking the time to actually write that comment. I appreciate that a lot. That means a lot. All right, uh, Mr. Reyes says, hey, Dwayne saw a 30 point increase as being an authorized user on your American Express card. Thank you for taking the time to say that, bro. That's freaking awesome. And that's that's really good, man. Like if I were you, like I said, I would just write it out a couple more months, kind of let it sit there, let it, you know, uh, look like this is really official and this is your score. You know, this isn't some kind of fluke. So definitely that's awesome. Congratulations on that. Okay, wow, Nika Baby says, Chase has really high limits, but they max you out at about 30K. 30K is a lot. I mean, if you need, well, not if you need, but if you have $30,000 worth of available credit um, on one credit card, that is pretty dope. So that's not too bad at all. LifePath6 says, Dwayne, what are the requirements to get the Discover It card? Um, I would say if your credit score is around... 680 680 for sure maybe like 650 in some cases definitely want to go to the discover website see if you're pre-qualified if you are pre-qualified then you want to come and click on one of my videos and use the referral link below any one of my videos that you're watching because that way you'll get fifty dollars five zero when you make your first purchase it doesn't have to be a certain amount just your first purchase period if you bought you know some gum for a dollar and change you would get 50 bucks and i also would get 50 bucks so the best thing to do is see if you're pre-qualified and then come back to one of the videos and use the referral link. Chairman Distribution says, hello, Dwayne. Great job, bro. Thank you so much for saying that and thank you so much for watching the live stream. I appreciate that a lot. Hey, Jason, Ali, thanks for joining the live stream, man. I appreciate you. I like seeing you guys here. <laughs> Dude, I love your profile pic. That's a freaking awesome pic. That boy's flexing in there. <laughs> I like that. Thanks for joining the live stream, man. T. Wash says, my Chase Freedom Unlimited card is, is a monster on cashback right now. I'm putting heavy spend on it. Good stuff. Absolutely. Scrolling down here. Hey, Jim Lee, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the live stream. I don't think I've seen you here, but I know you're on Patreon, so I appreciate that a lot. Says, uh, if I wasn't, if it wasn't for your help, I'd still be dead in the water. Hey, I appreciate that, man. That's funny. Good stuff, bro. Thank you for joining the live stream. And like I said, on Patreon as well. Okay, Raquel, thank you for joining the live stream. I don't think I've seen you as well. Uh, it says, I got approved. I got the city. Uh, City secured Capital One and Discover it over, but it was five. It was a five-point hit um, over the weekend. Okay, over the weekend. Got gotcha. you. Well, first of all, congratulations on those cards. I think those are pretty good cards to have, especially as uh, secured cards. If I were you, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna favor the Discover it secured card because they match all the cash back. So yes, you definitely want to sprinkle some usage. On the other cards but really focus on the discover it card and also consider doing the five percent cashback category consider switching to the five percent cashback category call them up and tell them you want to switch to the five percent cashback category and if you do that make sure you activate those 
categories quarterly and you will make more cash back doing that than you would using the 2% and 1% on the Discover It card. So definitely do that and come on back and let me know how that's going for you. Uh, once again, thanks for joining the live stream. I appreciate you. Oh, wow. Dude, come on. You're hired, bro. The coin alley. <laughs> took the time to write this. He says, in the market for a, new, for a new card, consider using Dwayne's link and help support the channel. And he has the American Express link and then has the Discover card link as well. Dude, I appreciate you doing that. That's freaking awesome. I don't even have the time to do that. I should just copy that and, and put that in the, in the live stream every time I do one. But I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, Wade. Appreciate that a lot. Ryan says, can the Quicksilver 1 uh, be upgraded to the venture or saver card as the platinum upgraded to the I think so I think you're able to uh, to do that um, I know people say that you're able to kind of get online and do it yourself just know that when you upgrade a card though um, you're gonna be missing out on the sign up bonus and you may want to think about that especially with the venture card they have a decent sign up bonus and if you upgrade your card you're gonna be missing on that the saver card as well I have the saver card and I did not sign up for it initially I had the capital one platinum card that was getting me no points no cash back no nothing and so I updated it or upgraded it to the saver card which allows me to get four percent or four times points not not for four times point but four percent back on dining and entertainment and so on and so forth uh, but just know that when you transfer to another card you're not gonna get the sign up bonus so you may want to think about that especially if you have a quick silver card if you have a capital one platinum then you definitely want to go ahead and upgrade to a card that's going to get you some rewards of some sort. That's my two cents on that. All right, Michael says, how does adding, how does getting added as an authorized user on your website work? I know you pay 30 a month, just wanted more information. So Michael, basically, um, it could help in a couple of ways. Number one, when you add someone as an authorized user, the main purpose of doing it is to uh, access that available credit or that credit limit so if I add you it will be like you getting a, a brand new card with that same credit limit so the card that's for 30 bucks is the American Express Bonvoy card and it has a three thousand dollar limit so when people join they're going to be getting my payment history on that card based on the day that you join which is gonna be let, let's say it was today so you would join today and your relationship with American Express starts today so when you're you're added as an authorized user, you're starting a relationship with that particular bank or that particular card. Um, you're getting that available credit limit reported on your credit score or on your credit bureaus. So you have three thousand dollars reported on the credit bureau, and it will seem that you have that particular card with American Express. And from today forward, you have the payment history. Of course, I pay my cards on time all the time. You have the payment history. With American Express and so that's how it benefits your score it'll benefit your score because you're getting more available credit which may make it easier for you to have a low credit utilization so in other words if you had a credit card with a $300 limit and you're spending $200 you'd be spending more than 50% of your overall credit limit which is going to affect your score quite a bit you need to be using between 0 and 10% so if you have more available credit you could spend more if I had a $10,000 credit limit I could spend $200 and that wouldn't be over 50%. That would be like, you know, a lot less uh, on your on your overall utilization. So that's kind of the purpose of that. Uh, but you're just getting started, man. In a couple of months, like literally a couple of months, like six months, you'll be in a good position because you'll have 100% payment history on your card because uh, you're going to pay your bills on time. And then your overall utilization, you can control your credit card utilization by knowing your closing date you're gonna call the bank and ask when is your closing date and be sure to have your balance between 0% and 10% so if the closing date is on the 15th you want to make sure you have your balance between 0% and 10% on the 13th so when they report they're gonna report you know 0 to 10% so um, you can still you got plenty of time man you can just like just chill and just use your card and like in the next six months you know you should be in a good situation so hopefully that helped Michael good question though Oh, my boy James, what's going on from Denton, Texas? Thanks for stopping by the stream. 
Uh, hopefully you're listening. Uh, hopefully you're not driving, right? Uh, and if you are driving, you're just hearing this. So thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, James. All right, kind of looking here. Okay, guys, I'm going to start to wrap up the live stream here. We've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. First of all, I appreciate every single one of you guys for stopping by the live stream. Once again, there will be no live stream on uh, Monday, June the 24th. That is my birthday. No live stream. I'm going to be doing something, probably nothing because I'm really boring, but I won't be doing a live stream. I'll just be chilling. Maybe I'll be having dinner. We'll see. But uh, there will be no live stream Monday, June the 24th. Thank you guys for watching the stream. And like I said, in the future, I want to do my best to kind of talk about cards that you guys are interested in or even cards that I'm interested in. I definitely want to get the Delta uh, uh, Gold card from American Express. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some more questions here and see if I can do my best to answer the questions and kind of wrap this up. But um, I appreciate you guys a lot. Esther says, what's the best way to delete inquiries? Um, I guess you could pay somebody for that service. Um, I've never done it. Um, people normally have good things to say about getting their inquiries deleted. Um, how it works is you're only able to delete inquiries for accounts that were never opened, right? So if you have an account that you opened with American Express, they're not going to delete that inquiry because that account was open. So you can only have accounts that were not open deleted from your credit report. And like I said, you could pay somebody. I don't really deal with that a lot, um, but that's my two cents on that, Esther. I'm sorry about that, but thanks for joining the live stream. <laughs> I appreciate you. And thanks for joining the live stream, bro. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let me scroll down here and see. Yeah, 28 inquiries is insane. That is crazy. Hey, Julian, thanks for joining the live stream, man. Super late, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Belinda, thanks for joining the live stream. It says, hey, Dwayne, my hubby would like to be an AU on one of your cards. Do you still have availability? Absolutely have availability. Um, if you're interested, you can do the Amex, uh, the, the Marriott Bonvoy card with the $3,000 credit limit. Uh, you could also do, if you're interested, but this is going to be $60, 60 you can do the Chase Freedom card with a $9,500 credit limit. So depending on what's going on with his credit report, if his credit utilization is above 30%, then you may want to consider doing the Freedom, which is a, a $9,500 credit limit. Just let me know. I'll take care of you. Um, you would go back to Patreon and you would have to do an you would have to do a custom pledge or edit your pledge and add ninety dollars not ninety dollars add sixty dollars which would bring the total up to ninety sixty dollars if you were interested in the sixty dollar one uh, if not if you're interested in just doing the thirty dollar one then you can join the sixty dollar tier and I will take care of them so thank you for asking that question and thanks for stopping by the stream. That boy, Chris. All right, cool, Chris. Thanks for joining the stream, bro. He says, now I can see the comments. What's up, Dwayne? <laughs> Absolutely good stuff. I'm doing great, man. Uh, Aunt Stan says, hey, D, thanks for the AU. Scores went up on all three. Went up all three together, about 40 points. Good stuff. And thank you for sharing that. Thanks for coming back here and sharing that in the live stream. Uh, people definitely need to see that stuff for sure. Uh, the Renaissance says some people charge hundreds or thousands to be an AU. Absolutely agreed, sir. 100%. All right. Let me just kind of scroll in down here to kind of see. want to make sure I answer these questions here before I end the stream. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by for sure. Um, hey, let me know like next week, you know, if there are some cards you want to talk about, I can kind of put the cards and pull it up on the screen and show you guys. Um, I could share my screen with you guys and show you guys different things. So kind of think about cards you want to talk about in the future and we'll definitely do that. Take the time to do that. Oh, Rick, man, Rick, your check is in the mail, bro. Thank you for loving the channel and thank you for actually taking the time to say that here in the live chat. I appreciate you, sir. And I appreciate you for watching. Brian Carter says, thanks for sharing all of this valuable information. Thank you, Mr. Carter, and thanks for stopping by the live stream, bro. I appreciate you a lot, Byron. <laughs> all right, Life Path 6 is going, going away again. All right, have a good night. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for joining the stream. 
Raymond says, hey, Dwayne, for my Discover Secure card with the $200 limit, should I call? Yeah, 5% cash back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely, you definitely want to do that. I'm not even one month old using the card. Definitely get on that 5% cash back category. Like right now, you could be earning 5% back on gas, which, you know, if you have a car, you're definitely going to be buying gas. So you definitely want to jump on that. And then the next quarter, I think, uh, starts in July. And I don't know. I think it's restaurants and something else. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I think you'll be good to go for that. So definitely want to make sure you do that. Uh, Ricky says, D, just joined at the $60 level. All right, Ricky, I'll take care of you as soon as this is over, man. Uh, thanks for that. I appreciate that a lot. Hopefully that'll help you. All right, sorry, guys. I'm just kind of scrolling down here. Uh, AS says, love your stuff, Dwayne. Why am I getting denied if I prepay phone number? Um, they want a phone number under my name to verify my identity. Why am I getting denied if I pre if I have a prepaid phone number? That is weird. I don't know. Um, you definitely want to make sure you take the time to call them and talk to them and kind of ask. That is weird. I'm not sure because I don't think, you know, if they deny you, I don't think they're going to write a letter to you telling you that. You definitely want to pay attention to what it says in the letter in regards to being denied and see, you know, kind of what you can get from that. Um, but I don't know. I wish I had a better answer for you. I do not. Joe Black says, does someone build credit from a charge card? Um, I think so. I think so. Um, I know that's kind of a weird question, but I know you can ruin your credit <laughs> because of a charge card. So I'm going to say that I think it's possible to build credit from a charge card as well. Uh, Roberto, thanks for joining the live stream, bro. And thanks for joining me on Patreon. That's freaking awesome. Uh, Raquel says, thank you. You're very welcome, Raquel. Be sure to come back and let me know what's going on with that card. And, you know, let me know your experiences with that. Michael says, all right, awesome. Signing, signing up to get added. All right, cool, Michael. I'll take care of you, bro. Thanks for doing that. Michael, you're freaking mature for an 18-year-old, bro. You're doing your thing. You're taking care of your credit. Dude, I'm telling you, in two years, your, your credit's going to be scary. You're going to be like one of those people that we hear about, you know, like, 21 year old with 800 credit score so that's pretty good man i'll take care of you rick says happy birthday much much love to you yeah my birthday's coming up man so that'll be cool for sure raymond out here all right with the birthday vibes i appreciate you guys man absolutely absolutely all right parker Platinum Auto says, great info, Dwayne. Thank you, Parker. I appreciate you for stopping by the live stream a lot. All right, let's scroll down here. Um, Is the minimum due the same as closing X? Example, uh, my city said minimum due 6-2. The due date is 6-6. Six, six. Huh. That's weird. Um, your, your due date is not the same as your closing date. Your due date is when your bill is due and your closing date is when they are going to report to the bureau. So they don't report on the actual closing date. They report like up to two days after. So if the closing date is on the 15th, they'll report possibly on the 16th or 17th. Okay. And that has nothing to do with your due date. The closing date is when they're going to report to the credit bureau. Hopefully I answered that question. That was kind of, I didn't quite understand exactly what was going on there. Ben says, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, Ozzy says, thank you for all your input and advice. Best wishes and good night to all. All right, Ozzy, take it easy, man. Sneaky P, you have 15 inquiries. Dude, I'm probably like right there with you. I probably got like 11 or 12 even though it doesn't say it on my uh, <laughs> on my credit score. But definitely have a lot. Um, have an awesome night. I got to go to bed. Got to get up around 2.30, 3.30. Oh, my God. Jesus, Janelle. Wow, that is dedication. Wow. Thanks for stopping by the live stream, Janelle. Be sure to get some rest. That is early. 2.30 and 3.30 gets here a lot sooner than we want it to. Keith, all right, cool. Thanks. D, thanks, bro. Have a good night yourself, my brother. Jimmy, what's going on? Late to the party. Hey, man, thanks for stopping by the stream, though. Uh, Fire Techman, 
Tamkin, sorry, says, what's the best credit card for a college student? Um, I would say the, the Discover card. The Discover has a college student card. Um, mm, Discover is the only one I'm thinking about right now, but I know that they're not the only ones. But the Discover card is a pretty good college student uh, card to get because they reward you. Uh, and they give you, I think it's like 20 bucks or so for having a certain uh, GPA. Um, definitely go to the Discover Skype, Discover site and look at that. But I think the Discover card is a good card. That's 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 always my go-to, especially for a first card. So hopefully that helps. I, I want to say Capital One has a student card, but I don't know. So don't quote me on that. I know the Discover card does though. And I would start there for sure. Rod says, that's awesome deal. I wish, AU, I wish I did this uh, two years earlier. Yeah, I hear you, man. I wish I did the YouTube channel two years earlier. Uh, Sneaky25 says, today is my birthday. Congratulations and happy birthday to you. Congratulations that it's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, cool. Let's see here. Yeah, it definitely would be a lot easier to build a credit with the AUs for sure back then. Um, Michael says, should I do the 30 or 60? Michael, that's on you. Um, honestly, you're good with either. Um, just because you're 18 and because I respect your budget and I respect the fact that you invest in yourself, do just do 30. You know what I mean? Like you're good. There's no need to, to, to overkill and do the 60. Let's just do 30, kind of see what happens with that and get your relationship established with American Express and Literally in like eight months to twelve months, you're going to be a position in a position to um, get your very own American Express card for sure, right? So that's kind of my two cents on that. Um, let's see, Darius Two Junior. First of all, thank you for that nine dollars and ninety nine cents super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, you said late to the show. Appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you for stopping by, and I definitely appreciate you for taking the time to put your hard earned money towards this channel and support me and support the channel and support the movement. So thank you, uh, Darius. I appreciate you a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Jason says, I have 21 inquiries. Boy, you guys are winning this race on these inquiries, man. That is crazy. Yeah, you definitely want to call them and see what's going on. Uh, and thank you for the early birthday wish. It's a couple of weeks away, but I appreciate that a lot. Hey, what's going on, man? That boy, AK in the house. Dude, I, I, you're probably not even on here anymore uh, because, you know, it took me forever to get to your comment. I see you. That boy said my stepdad is going to be popular. I see you out here. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for stopping by this, the stream, Alexander. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, Michael says in terms of authorized user on Chase or the other 130. Um, I do, depending, I do have a Chase card, but that limit is $1,000 that you can get on for the authorized user uh, for 30 bucks. But you can do either or, man. It's up to you. You know, I'll, I'll get your information. Once you join, I'll reach out to you and get your information and uh, we can text or talk about it. So I'll take care of you, whatever you decide for sure. Uh, Francisco says, I have six inquiries. I got three in December, three in January. Can I still apply for another card or should I wait a couple of months? I would wait a couple of months. Um, and depending on the card you want to apply for, if you're pre-approved then you can go see if you're pre-qualified, you can try to see if you're pre-approved. And if you are, then you can go for it. Um, you're probably going to get approved. And if it's one of the cards that I have a referral link for, like the Discover card or, or an American Express card, definitely use the referral link. That would be super, super dope. And you get a better deal by using that referral link anyway. Keep me posted on that. Let me know, Francisco, what happens with that. Uh, be sure to only apply for a card that you're pre-approved for though, if you're gonna apply. Otherwise, just wait. I would just wait at least six months uh, for sure. Uh, okay, how long does it take for the authorized user to hit your credit profile? Worst case scenario is two months. That's worst case scenario. Um, but it could easily hit this month towards the end of the month or next month towards the end of next month. That's the worst case scenario. I like to tell people two months because I like to paint the worst picture possible. And if it happens before that, sweet. But I'll say up to two months. All right. Thanks for asking that question. Uh, Jimmy, thanks for joining the live stream. It says, hi, may I ask what program you are using uh, to show the comments on the screen like this? Dude, great question. 
Um, it's actually called UCAM. Is it UCAM? Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm sorry. Eek, dude, I'm, dude, I'm bugging. I'll type it right here. This is the name of the software. Uh, and I had to get it too when I saw it. I was like, dude, this is freaking awesome. Okay, I can't type. But it's called Ecamm Live. That is it right there. Uh, Anthony says, what card should I get after the Discover It card? Uh, any suggestions to build credit, new, new credit? Um, first of all, after you get the Discover It card, I would just rock out with that card for a year. Um, there's really no need to get another card per se because in that year you need to be putting all your spending on the Discover It card so that you can get all the cash back possible since, the, since Discover matches your cash back anyway. That's gonna be my first and best advice is just to rock with that card for the first year. Getting other cards would be, a, excuse me, getting other cards would be a distraction and then you kinda of have to split your spending and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Get the Discover It card, that's cool. Be sure to transfer to the uh, five, percent cashback category call them up and ask them to transfer to the five percent cashback category be sure to activate the five percent category each quarter and i think you'll get a bigger bang for your buck doing that so my advice is just to rock with that discover it card for the first year put all your spending on there and pay all of it off okay hopefully that helps and just come back to the channel keep asking questions keep joining the community and you know asking questions that you have in regards to credit for sure uh, Eddie says my AU took less than a month to hit my profile see perfect example thanks for uh, contributing that information there Eddie I appreciate you very much sir all right guys well look I appreciate you guys for stopping by the stream I will see you guys next Monday again for sure at 7 p.m. Central Time be sure to come here next week with your questions if you have any if you have credit cards you'd like to talk about I'll do my best to answer those questions uh, in regards to those particular credit cards, I can share my screen with you, like I said, which would be really, really awesome. Uh, so I'm going to be back next Monday at 7 p.m. That boy Jimmy says, I'm 424 and I want a Chase business card. They pre-approved me for the Sapphire Preferred and Reserve, but I want a business card. Um, I only have the freedom. How hard is it to get a Chase business card? Um, It's not hard if they have an offer for you. If there's an offer for you, uh, then... <laughs> Credit Karma says your odds are poor uh, in regards to, to the business card. Um, I might, I might, I might believe them if they say your odds are poor. I might believe them, but in, if you have a Chase account, um, if there's an offer for a business card, then you could get approved for that card. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that it's hard to get approved. I, I, I'm still working mine out right now. But be prepared to answer questions from Chase. You know what I mean. Be prepared to call them up and answer questions because Chase seems like they're more thorough in regards to their business credit cards than uh, American Express is. American Express did not give me a hard time. They just gave me a card because I already had an American Express account. So um, that's my two cents on that, man. Um, SC Travel Nurse says, thanks, Dwayne. Thank you. Appreciate you for stopping by the channel. Gregory says, good night. All right, my bro. Have a good night yourself. Um, yeah, that's weird. Jimmy says, I wonder why it's poor if I can get the Sapphire. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But, um, I mean, you would think since you already have a card with Chase, it wouldn't be hard to get a card. Be sure if you apply for a business card, though, that you're good. You don't have a balance on your current card when you apply. And, you know, you've never defaulted or anything like that. So be sure that that's the situation. Uh, Deborah, all right. Good evening to you, ma'am. Good credit info session. See you next week. All right, Deborah. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you very much, ma'am. Okay. Okay, cool. Hey, Jimmy, man. Uh, sorry you started asking the questions towards the end of the stream, but hey, come back next week, 7 o'clock, same time on a Monday, 7 p.m. Central Time, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much to all the Super Chats, all of you guys that took the time to do that. You took your hard-earned money and donated to the cause, to the channel, to me. That means a lot. Um, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to continue to upload videos just like this one. So I really appreciate you guys for doing that. I don't have a list of all the Super Chats off the top of my head, but I really appreciate you guys. Um, Tanya Williams, thank you very much. Miss Williams, I, that means a lot to me. Keith, thank you very much. Keith. Linden, how to get an 800 credit score. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Darius, thank you very much for the super chat. 
Um, I hope I'm not missing anybody. I, that's just off the top of my head, okay? Uh, if I'm missing somebody, please forgive me. And thank you very, very much for the super chat. So thanks, guys, for watching the video. I'm going to see you guys next weekend. Okay. Look, Miss Green, uh, Dorothy, not not Miss Green. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy says, you are so patient and awesome. Good night. Thank you for saying that, and thanks for watching the live stream. I appreciate you. Eddie, have a good night, bro. Devante, Devante says, uh, I've had a secure card for 10 months. Just balance off my credit. Shot up 100 points. Cool, cool, good stuff, man. Thanks for taking the time to stop by here and say that. Uh, and congratulations to you uh, for your score shooting up. That is freaking awesome. Um, okay, I need to stop reading these. I need to stop reading these comments. I'm going to be here all day. But anyway, um, okay. Ricky says, uh, have a good week. Yeah, absolutely, man. You guys have a good week as well. And uh, thank you for taking the time to stop by this channel and the live stream. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next Monday, guys. So uh, until next time, take care and be blessed, guys. Peace. Later, guys. Have a good week.